one of the things that you mentioned was that m you became someone that you didn't realize at the time that was in you. Yes. So what I think that a lot of people ask me, well, how do I know that greatness is actually in me? How can I believe well, that there is Well, they don't have to believe greatness? it. They know it. They know it. They were chosen. Everybody here. Everybody watching Why us now. Why do we have to argue it, right? Well, it's not a question <laughs> of argument. You were chosen. You were, we're chosen, chosen one out of 400 million sperm. Now, God saw something. <laughs> he, had, he had a lot of choices. He said, okay, I want her. I want Lynn Kitchen, 400 million sperm. I want Lynn Kitchen. Mm. So there's something that you have that's not here. And that if you don't share it, that in a historical context, we will all suffer. A friend of mine asked the question, what would the world be like if we all lived our dream? Mm. I believe that all of us have dreams in us, but most people go to their graves with their dreams still in them because of fear, because of circumstances, because of environments, because of governments, uh, because of belief systems, and, 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 and don't ever discover that they came here to do a special work. We're here for a season, and we're here for a reason, and then we are out of here because nobody has figured out how to get out of life alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's powerful.